Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Vibe Guys. Uh, as we promised at the end of the last episode, uh, today we're going to take a look at how to dynamically add uh, or log in and log out of queues. Um, so, Matthias, firstly, why do we need to do that and how do we do that? Okay, the first thing, why? Mm -hmm. um, we already um, tested to add a member oh. or remove a member of a queue dynamically on the asterisk CLI and as we mentioned, this is a bad idea for daily use because yep. the agent or the employee enters the company and says, administrator, please log me into the queue. Mm -hmm. And at the evening he says, please log me out of the queue. Yeah. That's not very convenient. So we should invent something that an agent can remote control his uh -huh. membership. Yeah. And the easiest way to remote control the membership is to dial a number. Yeah. I mm -hmm. dial star 201. Yeah something like this, and then he adds me, mm -hmm. and I dial it again, or another number, okay. and yeah. I just log off. Okay, cool. It's easy. So, so um, we are doing a first implementation to understand the idea, mm -hmm. um, and to see how it works, yeah. and then in another tutorial we will enhance um, the whole dial plan situation, so I do it very dirty mm -hmm. just for the understanding how yeah. it works and then we can make it better okay later. cool so take it away okay the first thing we need is to understand which applications do we need as always we go to the asterisk cli and ask for a suitable application say core show applications like q we can see... You're getting better at that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm learning. Yep. I'm trying to. Um, Q. We already used the application Q that just opens the Q, throws the caller into a Q. Mm -hmm. um, and we can see add Q member, pause Q member, remove Q member and unpause. Mm -hmm. uh, what we tried on the CLI was add Q member and remove, uh, remove Q member. And you don't have to remove a member, you can even pause it and unpause uh -huh. it. We will explain the difference later. For now, we just want to add really a member yep. and to remove really a member. Uh -huh. So what we need is um, that application. And we can say core show application that one. Then we can see we just need the queue name and the interface. So your zip here, zip yep. slash James, for mm -hmm. instance, and the queue name, which is support in our case. Yep. That's it. Let's visit our QScon for now for a better understanding. We have the queue support. I'm a fixed member. Yep. I'm always there and working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can log in and log out if you want to. So I um, deleted your membership. Yep or permanent fixed membership in that queue. Uh -huh. Now we edit the dial plan and we add a new number, a new extension. For doing that, next to you, because we can find it again <laughs> later on. So invent a new extension, which is for instance, um, Star 201. Yeah. Right? And you say um, add James to support. To support. Same. Then I want to answer the channel. Why? Because I want to beep into the channel that it worked. So mm -hmm. you have a kind of feedback. And that's important so that, for example, when I call, I know that it's worked. Mm -hmm. yeah. Add queue member. I can just provide the queue, which is support. And then the interface, which is you. You are an interface. <laughs> Next thing I want to do is a playback. There is already a file on every asterisk installation if you use the default files, which is beep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you have another one, which is beep error, which means an error beep. Oh, one right. is beep. <laughs> the other one is beep. Okay. 
<laughs> yes. Sorry, can you speak? Hang up. I told you this is quick and dirty, mm -hmm. even if this does not work, because add queue member, maybe the queue support does not exist, maybe zip James does not exist, mm -hmm. then I would say beep, yes, it worked. Yep. I do not check if it really worked, we will yep. enhance that and see how that things work. But for now, it's okay, I just answer, he adds the member, he does the playback and says beep, and he mm -hmm. hangs up. So this should add your membership to the queue support. Okay. Um, next thing we need is maybe you want to log off again. Uh -huh. Maybe you want to go home. Oh, that would be nice. You know, yeah. Every now and then would be nice. Yeah. So I just copy this. Every time if you copy something when you're coding, it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you can do it somehow better mm -hmm. if you just have to copy something. Um, so let's say 202. James wants to go home. <laughs> I think it was delete. Remove. Remove. Mm -hmm. Q member should work with the same syntax. Maybe we do another beep mm -hmm. that you can uh, distinguish between yep. the two numbers. Maybe it works. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah. So we go back to the asterisk console. We say dial plan reload. We say you show support um, and you can see that James is already in there as a dynamic member because we played around last time with mm -hmm. um, the asterisk CLI yeah. mm -hmm. and he's in there um, so we should dial star 202 202 and maybe <laughs> <laughs> he will be locked off worked we could not hear the beep, maybe it was too fast, or maybe um, the audio is not okay, but we answered the call. We removed the interface and we played the beep error in English and we hung up the channel. Uh -huh. So if we go back to support queue, yeah. only Matthias is in there. Give it another try. Like this. And now we could hear the beep. Uh -huh. um, add James to support. We added you. Play back the beep. Beep. Hung up. And if I go back to the queue, you there. are in there as dynamic member. So basically it works. It has many problems. <laughs> yeah. Maybe let's go back to the console. I can show some of the problems. Okay. You are logged in now as a member and you do that again. You just get again the OK beep, mm -hmm. but um, here is an error message because you are already in there. Uh, so, so as far as I'm concerned as an agent, uh, I get the OK beep, um, but it hasn't actually done anything. It hasn't actually done anything, but it's as you expected because you are all, you was all, were already in there, mm -hmm. and he puts you in there again, this does right. not work, but yeah. you're mm -hmm. at the end in there. Yeah. But it's, it's working, as I said, but mm -hmm. it's not very beautiful. Yeah. And um, another thing is, uh, maybe it would be much better that you call the same extensions, yeah. not um, 201 to log in, log, mm -hmm. log out, yeah. something like this, but the same extension. The system just decides, are you logged in or not, okay. and then does the right thing. Yeah. And maybe we want to protect it, that only you can call it. Yeah, that would be handy. Yeah, because mm. otherwise, some other people just log you in early mm -hmm. in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody who doesn't like me in the office, for example, could just yeah. log me in. Yeah, that would be yeah. really nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so cool. that's it for today. Right, well, there you go. That's the, the dirty solution. Uh, next time around, we'll have the professional-looking uh, <laughs> uh, way to make this much, much uh, more effective for a proper productive environment. Thanks very much for watching. Till next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.